in the back room of a Minnesota quilt shop, an unassuming teenager I don't want to like brag or anything is changing the world. You're empowering these <laughs> girls. 15 year old Lexi Fresh isn't a big talker. She's very modest, <laughs> which is OK because she's a big doer. She saw those little girls and she wondered how she could get to them. Like a lot of kids, Lexi has taken in some heavy images from the news and social media. She's seen kids her age struggling to survive. She was especially moved by these girls living in Kenya and Haiti, many forced into single motherhood in their early teens. Look at this. Yeah. These are their children. I'll show you. Yeah, they're like my age, I think. It's really sad. It's a way of life Lexi will never understand. Still, when she looks at these girls, she says she sees herself wide-eyed, hopeful, in many ways cut from the same cloth. I'm a 15-year-old Girl Scout from Minnesota, USA. You are receiving this dress because I care about you, and I hope to inspire you about Girl Scouts. Wanting to connect with these kids a world away, Lexi, a lifelong Girl Scout member, launched a scout project called Dress for a Change. Her goal, sew and send 1,000 dresses to Kenya and Haiti, and inspire girls there to join similar empowering organizations in their countries. The badge sewn to your dress is an actual badge I learned, earned back in the U.S. I really hope for you to join because you can make your life better and also make the world a better place. In Kenya and Haiti, there is a version of Girl Scouts. It's called Girl Guides. They're also big on self-reliance and sustainability, which is why Lexi decided to take her project one step further. She's sending materials and instructions to the girls so they can make and sell their own dresses. We're trying to help these girls up out of their poverty to grasp onto a better life. Well, I think she's pretty amazing. Karen Anderson is one of about 100 volunteers determined to help Lexi reach her goal. I've asked questions along the way and, and where the money came from and how you got the idea and all this kind of stuff. And it just almost blows my mind that all of this that, that came together and, and the way it had to come together. Because having an idea is one thing, but funding it is another. It's costing Lexi about $7,000 to buy the materials and send these dresses overseas. So how does a 15-year-old Girl Scout earn that much dough? She spent two winters in the cold, 17 below zero, traveling to the corner of Minnesota by Iowa to find cookie booths because the cookie booths in the Twin Cities are so competitive. 4,000 Girl Scout cookie sales and several fundraisers later, Lexi earned enough money to make and send 1,072 dresses to her Scout sisters in Kenya and Haiti which is nothing compared to what she got in return. Dear Lexi, we are the Light of Hope Girl Scout members from Navisha, Kenya, and we were so excited listening from you. Thank you for the beautiful dresses you sewed for us. We loved them. You have inspired us in a positive way. We feel that you are a part of us. Not one to accept kudos or credit, Lexi is still trying to take everything in. A simple ruffle dress, now a world away, creating a powerful ripple effect. All of it started by one unassuming teenager. <laughs> I'm just pretty, I, I don't know why people helped me out so much. I was just a 15 year old making these dresses and I thought people were just not gonna be interested in it, but they <laughs> were and they wanted to help out and I was just like. <laughs> it's been two years now of very personal sacrifices oh, and hundreds it. of hours of hard work Amazing, so. and you can feel it. Lexi is ready to exhale. At the end of our interview, we ask her if she's emotionally drained. She is literally out of words, which is okay, because what she's done speaks for itself. Amy Hockard, Fox 9.